Okay, so next let's talk about workflow. And workflow is simply the process that you'll have to follow in order to get video from your cameras into the computer and then out to YouTube or other social networking sites. So um, what I want to uh, point you to is this little upper left corner right here. And you're going to see steps one, step two, and step three. Um, if you don't have video in your computer, we need to start with step number one. And if you click that, it's going to bring you to the import window, which we talked about in the overview for video editing. We're going to go over this in a lot more detail, but right now I just want you to get a quick look at it and to tell you a couple things about it. Um, the first thing is, is uh, if you have a camera like a flip, um, then you'll just plug in your flip to your USB port and it'll show up right over here. If you have another camera with a, a USB or Firewire connection, then same thing will happen. If you plug it into your computer, it should show up right over here. This you can also import uh, DVDs if you have movie files on DVDs or other things that maybe you've done before um, you can import them there or if you have a webcam or um, you know an external camera hooked up then you can certainly capture uh, pictures and video directly in from this interface as well um, we'll cover this more in detail but I wanted to give you a quick look to show you that this is step one in the process um, of actually making your movies once you have the videos imported, they will show up in this clip window right here and you'll be able to um, take a look at them through the player window or the preview window and pick the ones you want. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take all these clips and we're going to take them down to the timeline and start assembling our movies together. This is where we're going to add all of the cool stuff that goes along with each movie. Um, we're going to start, this is storyboard mo mode in the timeline. We're actually going to be using um, the other normal timeline view um, for doing the fine tuning and adding music and titles and those sorts of things. But we'll handle all that later. Once we have our movie um, created down here, then the next thing we want to do is make the movie. So you're going to have four options to actually create this movie. Um, one is going to be create a DVD, and you can create many different types of DVD, including Blu-ray discs and things like that. You can also export it directly to a file, which is exactly what we're going to be doing in a little bit. Or you can send it back out to the camcorder or um, a VCR or some other recording device that you might have. Um, the web option we're not going to use for this because it doesn't give us the quality that we're looking for in our final product. But... Um, just wanted to give you a quick run through of the steps involved in order to make these movies. So get ready and let's get going.